the worst I've ever done. It was in Europe and Prague. There was only one other person on set that spoke English. And he wasn't, like, English wasn't his first language. It wasn't crazy fluent. And what they wanted to do is do a girl-girl scene first. And then do a, like, double like me and the other girl with a bunch of guys. In it. When I got to set, it was just not what I was used to in terms of shooting standards. Mm. I'm used to people like coming up and being like, so what kind of loop do you prefer? And like, do you mm-hmm. need extra time to like, set yourself up and get mm-hmm. yourself ready? As soon as I got on set, they were like, okay, we're ready to go. And I was like, okay, where's the lube? And they're like, what? You need lube? We have Vaseline if you need it. And Vaseline? Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. And so the other girl that I was shooting with didn't speak English, but she held up a little tube when I was trying to ask about lube. And I was like, oh, okay, great. She brought lube. Awesome. That's great. And once we actually started the scene and she was f-ing me, that's when I realized that it was numbing cream, which is terrible to use for scenes, especially extreme scenes, because you want to be able to feel what is happening to your body. You want to be able to feel fully if something is painful, if something is tearing, if something is uh, burning. So whenever you use numbing cream, people think like, oh, it's going to be great because it's not going to hurt and I can just keep going. But then if you get a tear, you, you will don't... keep going and keep oh, making it worse. No. So I got a tear during that scene. I couldn't feel it at the time, but by the time we started the thing, it, the numbing cream was wearing off. And I still had to do double <laughs> and that was not fun at all. I've had some highs and lows again. Wow. And so now I'm just terrified of tearing again. 